Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today's video uses the Sheltering Tree set by Stampin' Up. Uh, it's got some leaves, a trunk, and some really nice sentiments in it. Now the cardstock I'm going to be using for this card is a uh, crumb cake by Stampin' Up. It's my favorite craft colored cardstock. And um, I'm using my Misty and I'm turning it a different way because my stamp is going to be hanging off the left side. So I just kind of vary the corner I use of the Misty depending on where my stamp lies on the cardstock. So I'm going to center it on the bottom. So I'm going to do my sentiment first, but I'm only inking up part of it. So I'm going to place some surgical tape over the border of where the end of mine is that I want. I'm going to ink it up with some bl Versafine Black Onyx ink. I'll remove my uh, tape and then I'll stamp it right there on my cardstock. Now this is three and a half by four and a quarter. And I decided to start at the bottom and work my way up. Now I've got kind of this green strip uh, that's going to be grass and I inked it up with some pine needles and then I wiped it off randomly with uh, a baby wipe. And then I'll just do a quick clean and now I'm going to take some forest moss and this is just to get two different colors of green on my grass so it looks uh, a little more realistic. And I'm not going to stamp it. I didn't use my Misty because I didn't want it to be exact. I wanted it to be a little off so that you could see both of the colors. Now I'm going to use my Misty again to place my tree and I'm going to be using uh, crumb cake ink which matches the crumb cake cardstock so it's going to be kind of a tone on tone look but um, after I uh, ink it up and stamp it I'm going to be coloring it a little bit more with some uh, Prismacolor colored pencils and you'll see me do that in a minute here so I'm just going to overlap the trees just a little I'm sorry overlap the grass just a little bit so the first thing I'm going to do is take dark brown. Um, I have the 24 set of pencils and uh, this is just called dark brown and I'm just going over the edge on the trunk and just kind of some random parts of the tree. I'm definitely not color th coloring them all in. I'm just trying to highlight a little bit and a lot of this is going to be covered with um, the leaves that I'm going to stamp over here. And you you'll notice that it's not exact and I kind of see I missed the branch there but it's okay because um, it's, it's really not meant to be perfect. Okay, then I took my black because I wanted a little bit more dimension and I'm coloring just the left hand side of the main trunk and just a little bit out on some of the branches. And then finally I took a white colored pencil to add a little bit of highlight on the right side and just even less of the white color. And then one last line down the right side almost on the crumb cake just to provide the shadow. Okay, so I'm using my Misty in the middle now because my stamp is hanging over all three sides. So I just put it at the one inch mark. And I'm using my Hero Arts White Unicorn ink. I just got this ink and I'm going to be using it in my ink comparison for white inks. So I thought I'd kind of give it a test run here. It is nice and juicy, so it's working really well for me. I'm going to stamp this in white ink and you could just leave it with the white. I thought it looked really, really pretty. Um, and how I wipe my stamps or clean my stamps is I wipe them with a baby wipe first. This is with my white pigment. Then I go over it again with the absorber. I found that my absorber doesn't really like white pigment ink. It gets kind of stiffer in those areas. So I just wipe it off with a baby wipe first. Okay, so um, I actually place the stamp a little bit off center, just a little left and down from um, the original white that I stamped and I used some worn lipstick and then I again used my baby wipe to kind of pick up random areas of the stamp so that I have some dark and some light. And You can see how you get some dark pink, some light pink, and some white in the leaves. Alright, I'm using this Hero Arts Fanciful Swirl uh, Alphabet Set and I do not have a single stamp that has the word God in it. I checked everywhere and I had nothing. So I'm just using my alphabet stamps. I used the zero instead of the O because the O was really swirly and I just I don't know, I thought it was a little disrespectful to have Swirly O in there, so I used the zero. Anyway, I'm matting this with some chocolate chip cardstock. I have to place it a couple times to make sure that it's perfect. I'm really liking this fingertip technique with my left hand that I've been using. So now I'm going to take this uh, panel and I'm going to off-center it a little bit on my um, white base. This is Nina Solar White and it's folded four and a quarter by five and a half. And then finally, I'm gonna draw some lines on either side to just sort of contain my design. I like to do that, and that's with a uh, Stampin' Up! chocolate chip marker. Now I decided there was too much crumb cake showing uh, in the grass here, so I took 
um, a few of the pencils in my set, all the green ones, there's a, a few green ones, and I just kind of lightly colored in so they would fill in some of the gaps. And that's it for the card today. Uh, pretty simple and easy to do, and I hope you enjoyed it. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.